Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for watching. A big hug to you guys. I've missed you guys so much. All right, I'm going to get started with my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. And I'm going to put some on my finger here. I love using this stuff. I feel like it gives me an awesome um, stay in color. And it sticks all day. It doesn't move anywhere. Now I'm going to use my Naked Umber and Decay palette. And I'm going to use the first color that's on the palette, which is called Virgin. In, and I'm going to put that on my brow bone using that brush that comes in the palette. And then I'm going to use a shadow, um, I'm sorry, a blending brush uh, from BH Cosmetics. And I'm going to put naked just a bit above my crease, excuse while I dance. <laughs> and I'm just going to go ahead and buff that in to get my color started and um, get my shadow going on. And then I'm going to mix in that same color, Naked, with Buck. And I'm going to create a little bit more of a darker shadow using this trick that is awesome. I recommend this. It is a very easy cleanup. You can use a credit card or business cards, whatever you like. <music> Now I'm going to use Smog. It's a beautiful like tannish color. It is awesome and I'm going to put it on the same area where I put my Naked and Buck just to create a little bit more of a darker um, shadow and just blend that out with my e.l.f. A blending brush. <laughs> I'm going to move on to my crease using a defining elf brush and this is dark horse and I'm going to put that right on my outer V. I love using this brush for that. It actually does the work for you. You just have to rotate the brush and just make sure you blend it in well. Now I'm going to go ahead and blend it a little bit more with this smudging brush. I get really comfortable with this one. So I'm just going to blend it in the crease. Now I'm going to go ahead and do half baked and I'm going to put that on my lid. And I love this look, you guys. I feel that it is beautiful and it can actually go with three different color of lipsticks which stay tuned towards the end of this video that I will demonstrate you guys these three types of looks <laughs> now I'm going to use a, a virgin which is um, the same color I use on my brow bone I love to use it as a highlight and as a shadow and so I'm just going to dust a little bit on there and I'm going to do half baked as well on top of that to create a nice highlight as well I just love using these two it gives me a nice highlight <laughs> so then I'm gonna take a elf concealer blur blush brush and I'm just gonna put that on my lower lid um, on my lower eyelash excuse me and I'm gonna use um, dark horse again and I'm gonna use this color just halfway and I'm gonna and the other half with um, half baked and just blend those two together and I think it creates an awesome look just blend those two together so then I'm just gonna dust off whatever um, powder um, I had on my cheeks because it does create a little bit of a fallout as you burn it on so that's why I put uh, my shadow first before my foundation so moving on to my eyebrows which is a very fun part not <laughs> I'm gonna use my NYX palette um, I don't like doing my eyebrows it's always a game with them it's just I feel like they have a mind of their own sometimes so I'm gonna use a light brow and a dark brown I know excuse the palette um, but since I color my hair I've been using brown now not black and brown anymore so I'm just gonna create an outline and just fill in now I'm gonna use L'Oreal Paris black eye, um, liquid eyeliner this is an awesome liquid eyeliner I love to use this thing it um, I feel like 
I have so much control with this wand and today I'm just going to use a simple black line because I'm going to wear falsies and I don't want that glue showing girl. my lashes um, before I added my falsies and just boogie girl dance it off <laughs> and I'm just gonna use my current favorite Lancome Grandiose or Grandiose it's an awesome mascara I got this as a birthday gift from my mother-in-law and I am loving it I feel that this separates very nicely uh, my lashes and uh, it does dry very quickly though you have to work fast so but it um, does a nice it does a nice job look at that one though isn't that weird looking <laughs> I've never seen anything like that all right so I'm wearing my fall C's and I'm wearing salon perfect and and 614s and salon perfect if you're watching this video please have more 614s in stock I love these lashes they're my favorite I feel like they look very natural oh get it girl dance it up mm -hmm. I was jamming while I'm filming this for you guys <laughs> can you tell <laughs> and I just love these lashes um, they're pretty natural looking in my opinion um, uh, I just love them I can't say enough about them <laughs> so I just gave it another coat to put them together and just let them dry now I'm gonna use falsies from Maybelline mascara and I'm gonna put that on my lower lashes I love using this mascara for my lower lashes and my upper ash my upper lashes <laughs> um, I do not get any fallout during the day with this mascara um, under my lat under my lower on my lower lashes Jesus um, and I love that so now I'm gonna put on my primer and this is Maybelline baby face which I'm actually on the hunt for another primer if you guys have a suggestion please leave it down below <music> So now I'm just going to do my under eye and I'm going to use Maybelline Cover Stick Corrector Concealer. I love this thing but the only thing I don't like is that it's very thick and I need to warm it up a little bit on the back of my hand before I apply it but um, it does the job I think. <laughs> Now I'm going to use my Sonia Kashuk uh, concealer palette in number 7 light and I'm going to use this one right here to cover that and conceal everything else. <laughs> On to foundation, Maybelline Fit Me Poreless 220 and 228. I mix these colors together because it comes out to my perfect color. And either one is too light for me or one is too dark. So I just mix them together and it comes out nicely. So I know it looks like I have a lot of foundation, but trust me guys, with this vice it does need a more and needs um you know good coverage. <laughs> so now I'm gonna use my beauty blender and blend it very nicely. So now moving on to Victoria's Secret Pro Concealer Palette. I'm going to use this green color to cover any acne or um, especially any redness on there because these are not welcome on my face. I hate these bastards. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and do that and just dab it on there. I, it's just so aggravating. I'm getting frustrated as I put it on. <laughs> All right, and then I'm going to uh, add a little bit more foundation on top to cover that green and blend it with my beauty blender. Next, I'm gonna 
uh, lock in that, excuse the dust, <laughs> lock in that concealer that I put on with that same palette number seven from Sonia Kashuk. And I'm gonna use Fit Me Poreless Powder to lock in that foundation using a Real Techniques powder brush. And I feel like this um, powder gives me just a little bit extra coverage and it does give me a matte finish with this powder. So now I'm gonna move on to Chocolate Soleil Bronzer from Too Faced using a 118 MAC brush. And I, this is actually a blush brush, but I like to use it to bronze. And let's do a little duck face with the fishy kissy. <laughs> I know, silly me. <laughs> Blush. I'm gonna use two blushes Milani Berry Amore and Hard Candy Smooth Talker um, I actually forgot I had Smooth Talker it was sitting on my drawer so I'm just gonna put a little one layer of this and um, it gives me a nice little glow and then I'm gonna finish it off with Milani Berry Amore I love this blush just can't say enough of this <laughs> And I feel like it gives me a beautiful glow and a beautiful color as well. And just buff that in there, girl, using the real techniques. I forgot which brush was that, sorry. And then this is a highlight. I'm going to use MAC Soft and Gentle. I am so loving this highlighter. <laughs> and I'm going to put it on the top of my cheekbone and on the side of my eyebrow just to give me a little bit of extra glow. And then I'm gonna use, I'm gonna do the first look. And I'm gonna use 73 Matte Love from Milani Lipstick. I feel like with this wine beautiful color, you can wear it at nighttime if you're going out or anything, or even during the day if you like. Next, I'm gonna use Whirl from MAC. I love this one too. This is a beautiful color and I feel like it adds a beautiful look as well. You can actually wear this during the day if you like, running some errands or something, just beautiful and just casual. Final Fearless Nude is my new favorite right now. I love this stuff. <laughs> um, it's one of my favorites right now because I, I feel like it's my perfect nude right now. And I feel that you can wear this during the day or even at night if you want. But I just love it. I feel like this is my favorite look. you guys enjoy this tutorial as much as I did please don't forget to subscribe comment and share this video video yeah video <laughs> video and I love you guys so much thank you so much for watching and I don't have anything else to say other than that I love you and see you in the next video loves bye Mwah.